The Prophet ﷺ has said, The person who severs the bond of kinship will not enter paradise. This is what I feared from my friend, Akib. He's lifeless, in the arms of his greatest role model, his father. Now you may be wondering why this all has happened. Well, let's look back a few months ago to get a glimpse as to how Akib learned to strengthen the ties of kinship in his home. I remember his father always telling him and his sister about this deen, trying to tighten the family, and he would always start off with these words. We can always change for the better. Akib, Nora, let me tell you a story about Umar bin Khattab. Before I came into Islam, Umar Khattab was one of the most corrupt men. He used all his energy and all his effort into trying to destroy Islam. Let me tell you about how he became a Muslim. Okay, where are you going? I don't want to hear about these old men. They have nothing to do with my life. It's a waste of time. Akib, I'm setting up a prayer. Do you want to come join me? I have to go to Hassan's party, I'll pray later. It's only gonna take you three minutes. Well, that's just me getting three more minutes to leave. I'm not gonna pray, I'll pray later, man. But I can. Sometimes I told you there was a sleepover. It's been all day and all night. You've missed Tohar, Aisha, you missed Maghrib, you missed Fajr, you missed everything. Well, I prayed over there. That's no excuse. Me and your mom were worried sick. Well, get whatever, I'm here now. Get in here. It's like I told you, Muhammad. I don't know what I did wrong with him. He doesn't pray, he's coming home late. We tried putting him in Islamic school, but he skipped classes all day. You're right, I know. Yeah, it's bad, but it seems like he's not the same boy that I raised. Yeah, like I, I'm thinking about trying to talk to the sheikh and he's going to speak to him, but I don't know if that's going to work because he doesn't listen to him. Last time I tried to take it to a you know. He's truly confused. Who wouldn't be? He was young and he had his whole life ahead of him, but never felt the need to bring religion into it. That is, until this happened. Hello, Ami? What? Akib could either come to Islam for the sake of God, his family, and his beloved father, or stay the way he was as a person. Abu, are you okay? Sit down, sit down, Peter. There's some things I need to tell you. Listen, son. You know that I only have two weeks left to live. But do you know why I named you Akib? No. Well, why do you mean? It, it means follower. We wanted you to become the strongest follower. And we want you only to make us proud. Carry the family name, son. And make us proud. Now go. Your father needs rest. I won't let you down. Yes, I'm his son. He's gonna be okay? Really? Thank you so much. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much.
so glad he's getting better. I actually thought I was getting Luki forever. Alhamdulillah, you know, God has blessed us. The power of Allah is so strong. Dad, let's go play that too. Such a good boy. Precious, the only term that could possibly describe the unity of the family, built up by morals, ethics, and values. Akib was once a lost follower, but no one is perfect. He did not die in vain, and his lost ways helped him find the key to bringing his family together.